Taken from the Carers UK site, research released for Carers Rights Day 2020 reveals unpaid carers saved the UK state 530 million every day of this current pandemic. Just imagine that. Let it sink in a bit. The amount of money unpaid carers save the UK. Although this video is a little late, I would thought I would play catch up and have my say for Carers Rights Day 2020. Now if you already know me, then you know that I'm a strong advocate for carers rights. If you do not know me, then let me introduce myself. My name is Matthew McKenzie from the London Borough of Lewisham. And I usually blog off my site, A Care in Mind, which has been going many years now. I have been caring for my mother, who was suffering mental illness close to 18 years, but during that time I worked hard to engage with carers and the mental health system. And I still do engage with those important things. Back to Carers' Rights Day 2020 it is one of those special events that focuses on carers doing the hard work of caring for a loved one either in the family or as a friend or neighbour. The theme of Carers' Rights Day 2020 is Know Your Rights. Now on Carers' Rights Day I did a talk at my local carers centre, which is Carers Lewisham, regarding carers' rights. And I thought I'd go through you some of the uh, rights that carers should take note of. Obviously, the things that I'm going to go through is not an exhaustive list. One of the things that carers need to be aware of is that they that the ability to access and improve the care for the person that they're caring for is paramount. They need to know their rights, that is the carer's rights, to access this and help the carer support the cared for, that being the, the quality of life and whatever they're diagnosed with. Other thing carers need to be aware of when it comes to their rights is that they need support if it's raised, perhaps in the care assessment, about domestic issues, family and the carer's personal relationships, particularly with the cared for. Other things that rest on carers' rights is the care being recognised, um, supported in the workplace in, or education, access to education, training and access to recreation. Obviously these things can run from a care centre. Personal dignity, including the treatment of the care with respect, is a carer's right and should be access to those things. Carers need to be aware of physical and their own mental health and emotional well-being. Not just carers, but the health and social care professionals who focus or should focus on those carers' rights. Protection from abuse and neglect are also very important and carers should recognise rights regarding these things. Carers should be protected from, or I could say safeguarded from, abuse and neglect. And there are times, unfortunately, systems can let carers down. Other things carers need to take note of is the social and economic well-being of the carer or of themselves. Hence, carers can be deprived um, of benefits. Um, I'm sure you don't have to look hard enough to find carers trying to access food banks because they've been hit hard by what I mentioned before. The current pandemic. A few few other things is suitability of the living and accommodation. This was mentioned in the uh, the Carer Care Act 2014, and this also covers access to nutrition. Lastly, but not least, is the individual's com contribution to society, and that should be protected, and carers should be allowed to do this. Remember, this is this list that I've mentioned is not exhaustive, and if you are caring for someone, know your rights. Have a happy Cares Rights Day, and I'll see you next time.